know how much energy it would be required maybe to run a three mile run. Physically. It would require a certain amount of physical energy. Physical energy is the most dense energy. Finer energy is emotional energy, your emotional energy system. And then an even finer energy is your intellectual system where you use your creative faculties. Now, we've all had the experience of using the intellect all day long, perhaps, and going to work and, and using your intellect, and, and you had every intention of, of uh, going to the gym at the end of the day, but you found yourself, what? Drained. You just couldn't do it. Or you were using your intellectual energy system along with your emotional energy system, and you were emotionally charged over something, and therefore depleting out of your entire energy system, and your body was, what? Drained. You didn't run anywhere. You sat in your butt all day long on a, on a seat, but you didn't do anything physically, but yet you have no physical energy. So you're depleting out of that energy system based on whether or not you're using it in a positive way or a negative way. Polarities, right? You all, we all have a duality with us. And we're going to talk about that. So, <clears throat> in other words, we're all bipolar. <laughs> Back to the energy centers. So you have, you have physical, emotional, and intellectual energy centers. And when they're all in balance, and when they're all firing, you are in a state of balance, in a state of harmony. It also could be considered wellness, for, at least for our purposes today. Okay? When, and also when they're all firing in a positive way, you have access to passion. In fact, it's my guess that you probably are passionate. You're probably on purpose. How many of you have had the experience where you're using your intellectual energy center, you're creating something, creating maybe something for your business, etc., and you're, you're excited about it emotionally, and you're doing things physically, and at the end of the day, you can't go to sleep. Right. You've got so much energy, you can't, you've got to wind, what, wind down. In other words, your energy systems are firing. That would be passionate energy. But then we have the opposite of that, like I said, where if you take one of those out and you're using your intellect and maybe you're even using your physical body to create a success in your business, since we're all entrepreneurs, but you've got no emotional stuff going on, you're not emotional about it one way or the other, you take that energy system away and you got what? A routine. A pattern. Boredom. And then you start to deplete. And then as time goes on, it gets harder and harder to get your butt out of bed and do the things you want to do to create the success that you say you want because you've got no emotional attachment to it. You're probably in the wrong vehicle. You probably don't know what your purpose is. But when you know what your purpose is, and you've got meaning, and I'm talking about deep meaning, and you're excited. You've got a reason to get out of bed. You know why you're on the planet. You've got all three of these energy centers firing. <laughs> You've got an excess of energy. Some people don't even know what to do with it. Like, they're all over the place. And again, that would be, that extreme also would be considered out of balance. Like, people who are, like, buzzing and happy and that, right? They're <laughs> also out of balance. And then you've got this end over here where, oh, my God, it's another day. <sighs> I'm working so hard, I'm chopping down so many trees, I'm trying to get cut down the forest, I'm trying, and I'm just so depleted. Okay, so these energy systems, today is about learning about these energy systems and learning how to balance yourself.